Hey everybody, so I've done a spot of shopping over the past few weeks and I tweeted whether you guys would want to see a video or a post and the majority of you guys said a video so I thought I would get around to filming it but unfortunately it gets dark now in England at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon so I've had to do a bit of a change of background and I have like a light beaming down on my face so I can actually so you can see me in the video because otherwise it's a bit dark so I hope this is alright for you guys but I think this is kind of going to be what I have to do from now on because otherwise I just won't be able to film, like filming in natural daylight is just not going to happen for a while but I've picked up a few bits and the first two things I have shown on my blog so I will pop the link to that below and they're both from Gemma Key. Now I've got both of these from Feel Unique and again I will pop the link to that below and the first thing in fact both of them are highly highly influenced by Pixie Tubu which is Tanya Bear and I'll pop the link to her channel below, I'm sure you've all seen her, she's a beautiful beautiful makeup guru off of YouTube and the first thing is the Light As Air Liquid Foundation by Gemma Kid. It looks a little something like this. It's not the most imaginative of packaging, but it's 30 mils, which is kind of the standard size of foundation. And I've got the shade 03, which is light medium. Now, I've been using this over the past few days, and I'm wearing it today. And I have to say, I am pretty much in love with it. I've got a feeling this might even become my favourite ever foundation. You guys know for me that my top two foundations are... Top one at the moment is Chanel Matte Lumiere and my second one is Girl and Lingerie de Peau but this, not only is it a fantastic colour match but it just blends so easily into the skin and the lasting power of it is amazing. I actually applied my makeup, it's nearly 8 o'clock in the evening now and I applied it at 6am this morning and I haven't touched it up or anything so I think it has pretty good staying powder and my face is a testament to that right now. But this morning I paired it with this, and it's the Gemma Kid, um, again, Makeup School Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream in Iced Gold. Doesn't it just look absolutely gorgeous in the pan, but it's just a kind of shimmery, silvery gold cream highlight. Now this was around sort of 17, 18 pounds, and it's something which I have been eyeing up for ages. Now I do have a few other highlights, but I don't have another kind of cream highlight, which is the reason I got this. And I used it this morning, and it completely put... Dior Amber Diamond to shame, which I'm, I can't believe I'm even saying that, but it was just so subtle on the skin and just gave a really nice kind of glow to my skin and it's still there now even though it is a cream highlight, so it kind of dries to quite a matte finish but still has that kind of shimmer to it, which is so pretty. So I have done a photo of the day or a face of the day with these and I'll pop the link to that below so you can see sort of what both of them look like close up, but so far absolutely loving these and loving any Gemma Kid products that I've been trying recently. I ha I've got the um, a bronzer and a blush as well that I managed to get through my old internship and I've been loving those as well. So Gemma Kid for the win. Um, another two things are NYX and I picked these up when I went to the Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model Live event which I didn't think was great. It was really good to see other bloggers but I didn't think it was an amazing event, but some of the stores there were good and the one that I kind of went a bit crazy over was NYX, just simply because I've never seen NYX sort of products in the flesh, I've seen them in loads of videos, I know in America they're really easy to get hold of, but over here in the UK it's just impossible. Um, the first thing I got was a tinted lip spa, which is kind of just like a tinted lip balm in the shade Spirit. And it's what I've got on my lips today. And I guess what made me go for this is it basically is the tinted lip balm version of MAC Shy Girl. And it basically looks like a more sheer version of MAC Shy Girl on the lips. I think it was about three or four pound. Um, just going to be great for just throwing in the bag. I've just been sort of popping it on throughout the day as I find it's really moisturising on my lips. And the second thing was a jumbo eye pencil. Now there were so many to pick from. And I thought I would pick up quite a few, but I was quite restrained and just picked up the colour 611, which, which is yoghurt. Again, this is just a really standard kind of colour for me. It's just a sort of golden neutral, very much like MAC All It Glitters. Now I've been using this kind of under the eye, just sort of under the eyelashes. I think it gives a really kind of pretty pot of colour. Um, I do find it creases quite bad on the eyelids, so if anybody has any suggestions of how to get around that, then do let me know. But overall, I'm just kind of liking it for a quick kind of everyday wash of colour on the lids. Um, I have a few more makeup bits and the first thing is another foundation which brings up my foundation count to either 13 or 14 which is just ridiculous but I have such an obsession with foundations and the newest one is probably the cheapest foundation that I own. I was picking up a few bits from Sandra from um, TT Sandra and she's got a YouTube channel, I'll put the link to her below and she's a Canadian and we're doing a swap sort of of products from there that I want and products from here that she wants which mainly consists of a load of Lizelle but she also wanted the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and it's something which I've been eyeing up for a long while and because I was getting it for her it was on some kind of three for two so 
thought I'd pick one up for myself as well and I've got the shade 53 which is beige Claire. Looks a little something like this and I have to say I haven't actually used it yet because I am so obsessed with my Gemma Kid at the moment but as soon as I give this a go you guys will be the first to know and I'll let you know my thoughts on that one. And the final makeup product is one that I picked up when I was in Selfridges the other day. It's the Vaseline Creme Brulee and the reason I got this was because I told my sister about it. And I said I was going to Selfridges and said oh do you want me to pick you one up and she said yes can you pick me one up. That day she then texted me and said she wanted four because she'd obviously told all her friends and they wanted one as well. So because I was buying four I thought I might as well go buy five and so I went and picked up one for myself. And I'm not a massive fan of Vaseline because Vaseline itself doesn't do anything to your lips. It just kind of forms a protective layer. It doesn't actually penetrate the lips in any way. But it's limited edition, you know, hard to find. So of course I had to get one for myself. Um, it does smell amazing. And I've just kind of thrown this in my bag with my... Um, Rose & Co Rose Salve, which I got in this month's Boudoir Privé box, which is awesome as well, so I've kind of been using those two in my handbag. The next two things are for my hair, and the first thing's kind of obvious, and it is Batiste Dry Shampoo. Look at the size of this bottle, it is bigger than my head. I think this took me back about £5, which is really bloody expensive, but it's something that I just kind of go for normally on a Wednesday. Don't know why, but on a Wednesday I generally have greasy hair. On a Wednesday, <laughs> just how how it falls with me washing my hair. Wednesday's a bad day for my hair, um, but I just keep on running out of this. I buy like a mini bottle, and then it lasts me about two or three goes. So I thought I might as well just break the bank, get the big one, and it will last forever. And I got the shade shade. I got the smell tropical because I think it smells like Malibu, and it's awesome. And then the next thing is something that I read on a blog ages and ages and ages ago and it was actually Zoella's blog and I'll put the link to that below as well you've definitely all read that before and ages and ages ago I mean like years ago but this is how crazy my mind is when it comes to like blogging I have an encyclopedia of people's blog posts like in my mind and she was she was having problems with her hair in the way that just after she shampooed and washed it made it all nice and clean she blow dried it and it would look greasy again and that's exactly what was happening to my hair I was washing it blow drying it and two seconds later it looked like it needed a wash again it was driving me absolutely insane and she used this and said that it worked and of course what I had in my hair was product build up because where I've been testing a lot of hair products recently and using a lot of hair oils my hair was just kind of clogged up with loads of products so I bought this on her recommendation and I have used it and I'm very pleased to say that it works and it's the um, Boots Own, so just Boots Own brand, um, the expert brand I think uh, build up removal expert shampoo. Now I have a feeling this was around the two or three pound mark so it's not exactly going to break the bank um, but like I said I used it last night and my hair feels really nice it's gone back to being nice and soft and shiny and not greasy. So all in all that was two or three pounds well spent. The next few things are kind of clothing things and I have shown this before in a few of my videos but a lot of people have been asking where it's from and it is the blazer that I'm wearing and it's from H&M it costs like 19.99 it was so cheap and it's just a really simple kind of black blazer with roll up sleeves and I wear it all the time practically every day so that was the first kind of purchase that I made. Then I'm going to strip off a bit because the second purchase is this, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see it. If I do that, I'm sitting on my floor, how glamorous. Um, but this is the other top that I got, looks like this. And again, I've seen these on so many people's blogs and videos, and they're from Topshop and they cost £16, which I think is an absolute bargain. They come in loads of different colours and they're fantastic just to wear kind of to work every day. I work in quite a casual environment, so I can sort of wear whatever I want. But this jeans on my Topshop Allegra boots is like my uniform at the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is just a sort of grey sweatshirt, £16 from Topshop, and then me being me and being obsessed with black, I got the black version of it as well, although I haven't worn it yet, and then I got another top from Topshop, and I think this was about £28, and I'm sure I've seen someone wearing this, but I can't remember for the life of me who it was, but I thought this was really, really cool, and it's like this. It is so nice. If you look close up, it's kind of like birds. Like little birds. And then like one big bird. But it's kind of a bit Japanesey style because it's got like really wide armholes. It looks absolutely huge, but I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow with sort of leather look leggings and my Topshop Allegra boots and my blazer. It adds a kind of 
bit of something to my outfit because I usually wear really, really plain things. So I guess that's kind of everything. I hope you liked this and if you have any more re video requests then please do pop them below because I'm a bit stuck as to what to film at the moment but thank you for watching, I hope this whole lighting thing was okay and I'll see you soon, bye!